95% students of class 10 face a problem how to prepare for science paper. My video is going to help you how to prepare chapter 1 of science and technology part 2 of class 10 from Maharashtra State Board. Here in this one video, I am going to express you how to study 1 marks question, 2 marks question, 3 marks question and even 5 marks question and which are the most important question for March 2025 board exam from chapter heredity and evolution. So without wasting time, let us start with the question number 1a which is MCQ. The first MCQ is transfer of information from dna to mrna is called transcription process here four options are given translocation translation transcription and differentiation but the correct answer is transcription the second one the similarity in initial stage is indicate the embryological evidence Third one, dash is the vestigial organ. Options are A, wisdom teeth, B, ear muscle, C, body hairs and D, all the above. And obviously, all these three are vestigial organ. Therefore, the correct option is D, that is all the above. Fourth one, the casualty behind sudden change was understood due to mutational principle of Hugo de Varis. Here also four options are there. Transcription, translation, translocation and mutation. But the correct answer is mutation. Fifth one. About 10,000 years ago, wise man started to practice agriculture. Here the options were gorillas, wise man, Ramapithecus and Australopithecus, but the correct answer is wise man. The sixth fill in the blank that is dash can be considered as the first example of wise man. Australopithecus, Ramapithecus, Cro-Magnon and Nantherdal man. And here the correct answer is Nantherdal man. Question 1b find out the odd one. First one transcription, translation, translocation and mutation. Mutation is the correct odd one. Then second one, leaf venation, size of seed, leaf petiole and leaf shape. The answer is size of seed. Rest of them are the morphological evidence in plants. Third one, position of eye, structure of bones of hand, structure of nostril and structure of ear pinna. Here the correct answer is structure of bones of hands and rest of them are the morphological evidence observed in animals which shows quite similarity in animals like dog, sheep, etc. So which is the odd one in this that is structure of bones of hand. The fourth odd one out, human hand, flipper of veil, cat's foreleg and wings of bird. So wings of bird is the correct answer. Others are anatomological evidence and they show quite similarity in bone and bony joints. Question 1c name the following. I am a connecting link between reptiles and mammals. Answer is duck bill platypus. Second one. Who is the pointer of modern genetics? George John Mendel. Which process is shown in the following diagram? See the diagram which is on overlay and the answer is transcription. Fourth one, in which book Darwin published this theory of natural selection? The answer is origin of species. Fifth question, which process is shown in the diagram? See the diagram on overlay and this diagram is of mutation. Now sixth question, name the part shown in the diagram. Again observe the diagram on overlay. The answer is wisdom tree. Question 1T is correlation. We have to establish correlation between first and second situation. Here first one, appendix which is a vestigial organ. Then peripatus, we have to answer it is a connecting link. Second one, theory of evolution was explained by Darwin. Whereas Lamarck explained the ancestry of acquired characters. Third one, 
change in the nucleotides of gene is a mutational theory and change in the place of ribosome is called as translocation. Fourth correlation, mRNA, it is transcription, whereas tRNA, it is again translation. Then fifth one, to 50 lakhs years ago, Drypi Thekas, whereas 1,50,000 years ago, that is an anthernal man. Now, question 1a is true or false. And here, the decaying process of C14 occurs continuously in dead organism only. And the answer is true. Second one, Mesozoic era was dominated by varieties of mammals. It is false. Actually, the correct answer is Mesozoic era was dominated by varieties of reptiles. Question 1F match the pair. The first one is morphological evidence and the correct answer is left venation and paradological evidence that answer is fossil. In our board paper, mein question 2A is scientific reason. So, here we start with scientific scientific reason. First one, some of the characters of parents are seen in their offspring. At answer, first point is, the parental genes are transferred to their strongy through male and female gametes. These genes carry hereditary characters. And second one, since they are transmitted from parents to offspring, one can see the parental characters in their offspring. Look, the offspring bond is 50% genetic material एक parent का और 50% genetic material दूसरे parents का होता है और इन दो genetic materials के combination से ही new offspring born होती है और इसी लिए that new offspring shows quite similarity in characters with the parent and these hereditary characters are transferred with the help of genes which are there in gametes of male and female Second one, peripatus is said to be connecting links between annelida and arthropoda. Why peripatus is connecting link? Because it shows some characteristics of annelida phylum while some characteristics of arthropoda. Let's see the answer. The first point is peripatus showed segmented body, thin cuticle, parapoda like organ. All these characters of Analidas. So these are the Analidas characters. Similarly, it shows creature respiration and open circulatory system which are the characteristics of Orthopoda. Since Peripatus shared both these characters, it is said to be connecting link between Analida and Orthopoda. Third scientific reason, vertebrates have seen slowly originated from invertebrates. हम लोगों को मालूम है कि अर्थ पे एक सिंगल सेल से लाइफ स्टार्ट हुई फिर मल्टी सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म आए फिर थोड़ी कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी और एंड में जो वर्टिपेट्स आए वो सबसे एंड में आए हैं तो वही थियोरी है कि अर्थ पे सबसे पहले इनवर्टिपेट्स आए और वर्टिपेट्स को इनवर्टिपेट्स में से ही इवॉल्व हुए सो व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट व्हेन द कार्बन डेटिंग मेथड वाज यूज्ड टू असेस द एज ऑफ फॉसिल it was understood the invertebrates were present on earth much before the vertebrates. So, vertebrates se pehle bhi kon earth pe mojood tha? Invertebrates. The fossil of invertebrates are present in lower layer of earth strata. They were seen in Palazonic era of geological time period. So, sabse niche, jab hum earth ko digging start karte hai, तो सबसे नीचे एकदम डाउन में हम इनवर्टिबेट्स के फॉसिल मिलते हैं कंपेयर टू दैट वर्टिबेट्स के फॉसिल हमें ऊपर ही मिल जाते हैं जो एक्सप्रेस करते हैं कि अर्थ पे सबसे पहले कौन था इनवर्टिबेट्स वर्टिबेट्स डोमिनेट कोनोसोनिक एरा द फॉसिल्स आर सीन इन अपर स्ट्रेटा ऑफ द अर्थ द स्ट्रक्चरल कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज आल्सो इंक्रीज्ड इन वर्टिबेट्स all these facts indicates that vertebrates have been slowly originated from invertebrates. So, first of earth par invertebrates are and the vertebrates originate. Hue. So, next scientific reason that is 
डकपल प्लेटिपस शोज रिलेशनशिप विथ मैमल सो डकपल में क्या मैमल जैसा है इट हैविंग मेमरी ग्लान और वो अपने ऑप्सप्रिंग को मिल्क फीड करता है दैट इज द सेम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच इज ऑब्सर्व इन मैमल्स एंड मैमल्स दैट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज ओनली द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सो द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मैमल्स आर प्रेजेंस ऑफ मेमरी ग्लान हेयर ऑन स्कीम both these characters are present in tactile platypus that's why they show quite relationship with the mammals so mammary gland which is the prominent character of mammal is present in tactile platypus now let's move towards question 2b and here solve the following question and for each correct answer you are going to get two marks and the first one is write short note on amrological evidence see the diagram on overlay and we can see there is a quite similarity in first stage of embryos fish salamander tortoise chicken pig cow rabbit and man but as the stage increase there is a differentiation in embryos but the first stage similarity in embryos of all these animal in indicates that they have common ancestor so what is the embryological evidence express that all these animals fish salamander tortoise chicken pig cow rabbit man are originated from one common ancestor now complete the following flow chart any two are written and two we have to write on our own there is evidence of evolution actually the evidence of evolution are six but here two are given morphological and similarity in bone structure and i have written two connecting links and panatological evidence you may write embryological evidence and vestigial organ there are six evidence which are expressed in our book out of that any two you can write and complete the chart third question write the advantages of heredity the first one this determines which traits are passed from parents to offspring and second successful traits are inherited more often and change species over time third one the change in traits allow an organism to adapt to the particular environment and increase the survival see heredity is transferred from parents to offspring from one generation to next generation when the heredity characters are transferred some changes occur and because of that the new species are more easily survive in a new environment fifth question what is the inheritance of acquired characters the neck of giraffe has become too long due to browsing on leaves of tall plants by extending their neck for several generation second the wings of birds like ostrich and emu has become weak due to of no use see giraffe ko bahut tall trees ke leaves khane pade for survival for many generation usse automatically uski neck ki height kya ho gayi increase ho gayi on other hand ऑस्ट्रिच एंड एमो जो बर्ड से वो अपने विंग्स का बहुत जनरेशन तक यूज नहीं करते और आज वो वन फीट तक भी फ्लाइंग कर नहीं सकते अदर बर्ड्स यू नो हाउ फार दे कैन फ्लाई बट दीज बर्ड्स हैव लॉस्ट द एबिलिटी ऑफ फ्लाइंग बिकॉज ऑफ नो यूज उन्होंने विंग्स का यूज ही नहीं किया सो एटोमेटिकली विंग्स का पावर कम होता गया और आज वो वन फीट तक भी अप्रॉक्सीमेट फ्लाई कर सकते उससे ज्यादा की फ्लाइट इज इम्पॉसिबल फॉर दैम लेक्स ऑफ बर्ड्स लाइक स्वैन एंड डग्स हैव बिकम यूजफुल फॉर स्विमिंग ड्यू टू लिविंग इन वॉटर सो वॉटर में रहने की वजह से उनके जो लेग्स है डग्स के वो मॉडिफाई हो गए और आज वो इजिली स्विम कर सकते हैं ऑल दीज एग्जाम्पल्स आर टाइप्स ऑफ एक्वायर कैरेक्टर्स तो अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर नीड उन्होंने अपने कैरेक्टर्स को क्या किया चेंज किया दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अक्वायर कैरेक्टर्स एंड ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू अनदर जन और ये जो मॉडिफिकेशन हुआ वो जनरेशन टू जनरेशन ट्रांसफर हुआ This is called as theory of inheritance of acquired character or Lamarckism. Now see the sixth one. What is the species and speciation? Species, the group of organism that can produce 
Fertile individual through natural reproduction is called species. देखो अपने species में हम reproduction कर सकते हैं। एक species के जो animals होते हैं वो अपने आप में cross breed करके next generation को bond कर सकते हैं। अगर species difference है तो उनमें reproduction possible नहीं। So ऐसे organisms जो आपस में रिप्रोड्यूस कर सकते हैं वो होते हैं उनका जो ग्रुप होता है उन उस ग्रुप को हम क्या बोलते हैं स्पीशीज मींस दे कैन डू रिप्रोडक्शन नेचुरली एंड व्हाट इज स्पेसिएशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू स्पीशीज फ्रॉम अर्लियर वन इज कॉल्ड स्पेसिएशन जो अफ्रीका में एप लाइक एनिमल था उसका कन्वर्जन गोरिलास एंड चिंपांजीज में हुआ बट वही अफ्रीका का एप लाइक एनिमल जब नॉर्थ ईस्ट एशिया में आया तो उसका कन्वर्जन जिबॉन एंड ओरांगोटांग में हुआ क्योंकि जो अफ्रीका का एप लाइक था वो ईस्ट एशिया में जब आया तो उसका कनेक्शन अफ्रीका के एप लाइक एनिमल से टूट गया बिकॉज़ दे वर स्टेइंग इन ईस्ट एशिया एंड दीस वर स्टेइंग इन अफ्रीका सो जो एप लाइक एनिमल्स थे यहां पे जो अफ्रीका में थे उनका कन्वर्जन हुआ गोरिलास जबकि जो एशिया में आए थे एप लाइक एनिमल उनका कन्वर्जन हुआ जिबॉन और ओरांगोटांग ये सब होने में करोड़ों ऑफ ईयर लगे यहां की स्पीशीज का यहां के स्पीशीज के साथ कोई कनेक्शन नहीं हुआ सो इवोल्यूशन की प्रोसेस अलग हो गए ये लोग इस जियोग्राफिकल कंडीशन में ट्रैप हुए यहां के अफ्रीका के यहां पे और उनका इवोल्यूशन अलग हुआ और इसीलिए अफ्रीका का एप लाइक एनिमल था उसका कन्वर्जन चिंपांजीज एंड गोरिलास में हुआ जबकि जो ईस्ट एशिया में थे उनका कन्वर्जन जिबॉन एंड ओरांगोटांग सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ स्पेसिएशन सो एक ही स्पीशीज थी एप लाइक एनिमल ऑफ अफ्रीका इनका कन्वर्जन फोर डिफरेंट स्पीशीज में हुआ चिंपांजी गोरिला ओरांगोटांग एंड जिबॉन सो नाउ लेट्स सी द सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन दैट इज व्हिच जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर्स आर कॉज्ड बाय म्यूटेशन सिकल सेल एनीमिया इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जांपल ऑफ म्यूटेशन so here we are on question number 3 answer the following question and for each correct answer you are going to get 3 marks so what is heredity explain the mechanism of heredity changes heredity is the process by which the biological characters from parents generation are transmitted to next generation through genes so heredity means parents to offspring mein जो कैरेक्टर्स ट्रांसफर होते हैं वाय जींस दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ हेरिडिटी एंड द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ हेरिडिटी चेंज फर्स्ट इज म्यूटेशन सडन चेंज इन पैरेंटल डीएनए कैन कॉज म्यूटेशन दिस रिजल्ट इन चेंज इन हेरिडिटी कैरेक्टर एट द टाइम ऑफ मायोसिस द क्रॉस ओवर टेक्स प्लेस दिस क्रिएट्स न्यू रिकॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ जेनेटिक इंफॉर्मेशन देयरफॉर द हैप्लॉइड गैमेट्स प्रोड्यूस कैरी चेंज हेरिडिटी कैरेक्टर्स तो जब मायोसिस होता है और गैमेट्स फॉर्म हो रहे होते हैं तब जो पेयर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स होता है वो एक दूसरे को कनेक्ट होते हैं और जीन्स का जो जेनेटिक मटेरियल है उसका क्रॉस ओवर होता है और रिकॉम्बिनेशन होता है इसलिए पेरेंट्स एंड ऑफस्प्रिंग उनमें क्वाइट डिफरेंस देखने को मिलता है बिकॉज ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेशन इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ मायोसिस नाउ द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉट इज कार्बन डेटिंग where it is used carbon dating method is technique used for determination the age of fossil second after the death of organism their consumption of carbon stop but right from that moment the decaying process of c14 occurs so c14 ka jo proportion hota hai dead body mein wo decompose hona start ho jata hai wo kam kam hona start ho jata hai as the organism die this resulting change in ratio between c14 and c12 c12 is non radioactive as c14 thus the time passes since the date of plants or animal is calculated by measuring the radioactivity of c14 and ratio of c14 to c12 present in their body so c14 jo radioactive hai uska proportion body mein dheere dheere kam hona start ho jata hai dead body mein se jabki c12 waise ke waise rehta hai so as time passes ye c12 and c14 ka ratio mein distance increase hota hai and that gives us the exact idea that how old that fossil is there and this method is called as carbon dating which is used to determine the age of fossil fifth one the points noted during carbon dating are the, the period after the organism has died second b 
the radioactivity of C14 in dead organism and ratio between C14 to C12. So now let's see the third question of question number three. What are the objection raised against Darwin's theory? So Darwin's theory is a theory of natural selection. Nature usko select karta hai, uska kuch bhi nahi hota. Aur agar nature ne aapko select nahi kiya, to aapke species distinct hogi. Aise Darwin ne humko jo theory di thi, uske kuch objections hai. Everybody didn't accept Darwin's theory. So which are the ob objections? Natural selection is not the only factor responsible for evolution. So natural selection pe evolution hui nahi hai. Ki nature ne select kiya to hum zinda hai. Nature ne nahi kiya to we distinct. This is not the only reason for the evolution. Second, Darwin's theory did not mention any explanation about useful and useless modification. Kabhi kabhi useless modifications pe organism mein hote hai. Or uska koi explanation Darwin de nahi paya. Then there is no explanation about slow change and abrupt change. See, organism mein kabhi kabhi bahut slow change hota hai, crores of year chale jate hai. So kabhi kabhi fast change hota hai. To ye kyu hota hai? Ye bhi Darwin was unable to explain. So these are the objections which are taken against Darwin's theory by the scientist. So now you have to observe the figure which I have showing on overlay and you have to answer the following question. Which evolutionary evidence does it indicate? It is a morphological evidence. What does it prove? This indicates that there are some similarity in those groups and hence it proves that their origin must be same and they must have common ancestors. So in organism, like we can see dog shape, ox, structure of eyes, ear pinna, nostril structure, then the position of mouth, all these things shows quite similarity and this similarity proves that they have common ancestor. Jabki hum mango tree, chiku tree and uh, gava tree is there and in that what is the similarity in these leaves that their leaf venation, parallel venation is there, their leaf size and the position of petiole, all these similarity explains that they have common ancestors. Now question C of that state another example of evolutionary evidence. Similarity in human hand, four legs of ox, patagium of bat and flipper of whale, structure of bones and join in organs of each those animals indicates that those animals have common ancestors. So these bone structures which you can see there is quite similarity in bones and their bony joints and this similarity indicates that they have common ancestors. So this is the picture hai, yaha pe jo structures dikhai, human hand, four leg of ox. Inke functions to different hai, but their bone similarity and bony joint similarity express that they have common ancestors. So now we are on fifth question of question number three and that is define vestigial organ. Write names of some vestigial organs in a human body and write the names in whom the same organs are functioning. So what is the vestigial organ? The degenerated or underdeveloped organs which cannot perform any functions are known as vestigial organs. So in body mein aisa organs se jo abhi kuch bhi function karte nahi hai. So unhe call kiya jata hai vestigial organ. Previously maybe they fully function the but abhi wo kuch bhi functions nahi karte. They are vest in our body so they are called as a vestigial organ. Existing organ undergo gradual change during evolutionary process. Thus, they form new tissues, organs, etc. Under such an environmental condition, such a change are necessary. However, some structures become useless in newly changed condition. Look, in human body, there is no wisdom teeth ka itna use nahi raha hai. But, the ruminants are wisdom teeth. Hai. और मैमल्स के विजडम टिथ अभी भी स्ट्रांग है बट हम लोग अभी कुक्ड फूड खाते हैं तो विजडम टिथ का कोई यूज नहीं रहा है जैसे हमारा अनदर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम का ऑर्गन अपेंडिक्स व्हिच इज नॉट फंक्शनिंग इन ह्यूमन बॉडी बट इट इज स्टिल फंक्शनिंग इन रूमिनेंट्स बिकॉज़ दे आर स्टिल ईटिंग ग्रीन ग्रास लीव्स एंड देयर सेलुलोज इज डाइजेस्टेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ अपेंडिक्स सो ये जो अपेंडिक्स है वो उनके फूड में जो सेलुलोज है उसको क्या करता है डाइजेस्ट बट हमारा अपेंडिक्स अभी वर्क नहीं करता इन आवर फूड सेलुलोज इज नॉट डाइजेस्टेड एज आवर 
appendix is not working then we don't have hairs like other mammals but other mammals have hair because we are wearing clothes but they are not wearing so for protection from heat and cold they have hairs throughout their body in cats dog their ear muscle is still working and they can change their position of ear but our ear muscle is not working because we are staying in a quite comfortable atmosphere in our home so we are not worried about any animal which can attack us so there is no need of ear muscle to function so in our body ear muscle is non functional whereas in dogs and cats you can see still the ear muscle is functional so in some organisms some organs are fully functioning whereas in some other organism they are not working so that is called as a vestigial organs monkeys tail bone is still working because still they are jumping from tree to tree and for balancing this uh, tail bone plays an important role but we are staying on land and we are not jumping we are not living on trees so tail bone is not functioning and it is a vestigial organ now let's see the sixth question define fossil explain the importance of fossil as the proof of evolution with the example fossil offer paleontological evidence for the evolutionary process due to some natural calamities the organism get buried during ancient time the impressions and ruminants of such organism remain preserved underground the hot lava also traps some organism or their impression formation from fossils fourth point study of fossil helps the researchers to understand the characteristics of organism that exist in the past carbon dating methods also help in finding out exact age of fossil according to structure of earth crust the fossils are obtained at a specific time The oldest ones are obtained at the deepest while the relative recent one occupies the upper surface thus the fossils of invertebrates were seen in very old fossil later were seen fossils of pisces amphibians reptiles and mammals thus the study of fossil unfold the evolutionary secret which are the fossils which we obtain at deepest they are invertebrates about that we get the fossil of pisces then amphibians then reptiles mammals and elves that proves that mammals and elves have recently evolved whereas invertebrates have evolved long back so who were first on earth they were invertebrates and then vertebrates come on earth this proof is obtained from study of fossil now the seventh question is explain the lemarck's principle lemarck's explain that use and disuse of organs the organs which we use get evolved and the organs which we are not using get vanish from our body this was the theory which was given by lemar and few example and from that he has explains the theory of ancestry of acquired character so this question of lemar principle is asked for 3 marks now the eighth one explain anatomological evidence so what is anatomological evidence look at the picture see you can see human hand four leg of ox patagium of bat and flipper of well see our hand is used to eat food and to hold the things four leg of fox is used for walking and balancing the body then patagium of bat is used for flying and flipper of whale is used for swimming so all these organs are used for doing different functions but their similarity in bone and bone joint express that they have common ancestors so this anatomology study of anatomy explains that all these animals are different but they have common ancestor in past and therefore their bones and bone joint shows quite similarity then ninth question explain in brief darwin's theory of natural selection so darwin's theory here we have to explain for 3 marks so now let us do the 10th question here complete the following paragraph and if we complete correctly we are going to get 3 marks see the paragraph evolution of upright man continue in the direction of developing 
its brain for the period of about 1 lakh years and meanwhile it discovered the fire. The brain of 50,000 year old man been sufficiently evolved to extend that it could be considered as a member of class wise man. Nanthardal man can be considered as the first example of wise man which is also called as Homo sapiens. The Cro-Magnon man evolved about 50,000 years ago. Afterward, this evolution has become faster than earlier. About 10,000 years ago, wise men started to practice agriculture. It started to rear cattle, herds and establish the cities. Culture development took place. Now let's move towards the 11th question of 3 marks. Observe the following images and answer the following question. Which evolutionary evidence are indicated in the given picture? This picture shows the panatological evidence. And how are they formed? Large number of organisms get buried due to disaster like flood, earthquake, volcano, etc. and ruminants and impressions of such organisms remain preserved underground. This is called as fossil. C question, which method is used to measure their age or their time? That is carbon dating method. Now the 12th question, observe the picture and answer the following question. The given picture indicate which principle? It indicates inheritance of acquired characters or which is called as Lamarckism. Explain that principle in your own language. The organs which organism use develop and those organs which are not used gradually vanish. This is the use and disuse of organ principle given by Lemar. Now we are on question number 4. Here answer the following question and each question you are going to get 5 marks. Explain in short transcription and mutation. So what is transcription? The synthesis of mRNA as per the nucleotide sequence present on DNA molecule is called as process of transcription. Information required for the synthesis of protein is started in the gene. For example, the nucleotide sequence of DNA. The proteins are synthesized according to the need of our body. So whatever protein we need, accordingly the cell develop it and this protein is developed by the information which is storing DNA. Now mutation, sudden change occur in the genetic material is known as mutation. Nucleotides ko copy karte vakt, agar by mistake kuch changes ho jate hai sequence mein, to is process ko bolte hai mutation. Due to transmission of parental genes to offspring, there is a remarkable similarity between parent and their offspring. But if there is a mutation in any nucleotide, then there are changes in the characteristics of offspring. Mutations are of two types, minor and major, and the example of mutation is sickle cell anemia. Parents may sickle cell anemia nahi hota, but suddenly offspring observe hota hai. That is because of mutation, that genetic material, jab nucleotide sequence copy ho raha hota hai, to usme thode se copy mein mistakes ho jate, aur isse parents apne offspring ke characteristics mein difference hota hai. That is called as mutation because of wrong copying of nucleotide sequence. Second question of 5 marks. Write the answers to questions by observing the figure. Write the name of A in figure that is duckbill platypus. The animal in B is lungfish and animal in C is parapatus. Which evolutionary evidence is illustrated by this figure that is connecting links. So these are the questions which are asked in different board exams as well as school exam and I have collectively taken and made one video. So if you will learn all these questions which I have given for 1 marks, 2 marks, 3 marks and 5 marks, I am 100% sure that you are going to attain your paper perfectly and going to get great marks in your paper. If you like my today's video and if you are daily watching my video i request you please 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 like it share it and subscribe it we will meet in next video till then have a nice day bye bye